What's up everyone, I am Demon Cringe, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, today I got some pretty huge news for you guys and gals, uh, so uh, sadly it looks like the highly anticipated game System Shock 2 is apparently stuck in limbo because of the massive layoffs at the development studio Other Side Entertainment, so yeah, these layoffs have apparently been happening for quite some time, pretty much since uh, June of last year, so uh, there's definitely something going on within the studio, but uh, yeah, um, with that being said, let's get on with it, shall we? Uh, this article comes from uh, PCGamer.com, and it says, Back in 2017, Starbreeze Studios agreed to publish Other Side Entertainment System Shock 3. Less than two years later, Starbreeze sold the publishing rights uh, back to Other Side after the failure of Overkill's The Walking Dead. Uh, Other Side's Warren Spectre said that they were, quote, looking for a publishing and funding partner, but would self-publish the game at a, as a last resort. As VGC reports, uh, the design director Chase Jones left Other Side last week, uh, joining other key staff including System Shock 3's writer and director, a senior manager, lead programmer, QA lead, a senior environmental artist, and more. Uh, who have all either left or been laid off. A thread on other sites forum has been cataloging layoffs among the staff since June. Posting with the name Kim Korn Karn at the RPG Codex forum, a former other side developer responded to the question of whether System Shock 3 has been abandoned, saying, quote, I don't actually know what's going on, but the team is no longer employed there. So there you go, everyone. Uh, sadly, it looks like the game is effectively stuck in limbo, like I said before. And of course, the article does mention the fact that uh, they sold the uh, they sold the publishing rights uh, back uh, to uh, uh, to other side uh, due to the horrendous failure that was the Overkill's The Walking Dead. The game, of course, did have a good amount of potential, but sadly, it was executed so badly and it was just uh, just terrible upon release and all that. And of course, because of these mass layoffs uh, that have been happening for months on end, uh, of course, it did cause you know massive demoralization and a lot of the people that uh, quit voluntarily uh, were most likely of the mindset of uh, you know it's uh, it's better to uh, just uh, you know just call it quits on your own rather than to have them uh, wake up one morning and find out that they're out of a job the article continues with uh, they also explained that quote most of the content development uh, which we were critically behind in uh, both in real assets and tool support for an efficient pipeline another quote that reads uh, was the failure of the project right it's hard to say if Starbreeze hadn't gone into crisis I think we we would have delivered something interesting with some fresh and innovative gameplay, but a much smaller game than what people were expecting and inevitably disappointing for a sequel to a such beloved franchise. Those high expectations drove a lot of expensive experimentation, we were a small team and we couldn't compete uh, with uh, the current immersive sims and production quality and breadth, so we had to be creative and uh, clever and weird and uh, we were on our way to make something unique and possibly fun. In September of last year we saw a pre-alpha teaser of System Shock 3 which reintroduced the series iconic villain Shodan, it uh, sure did look promising at the time, we reached out to the comment and we'll let you know if we hear back. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, and now we're going to go on to another article, this one actually has a few statements from a former System Shock 3 community manager that uh, posted this originally on the other side forums and expressed their worries for the studio, saying quote, I want to say I have been at other side while layoffs were happening and uh, have left just before the next round in Austin. I deeply admired every single developer I had a chance to work with. Having played the internal of System Shock 3 demo, I know the Austin team worked their asses off and made some stunning progress in the past couple of months. It hurts to see many of these developers are out of a job on a project they worked so hard on. Some of the developers in Boston, like Jared, still haven't found full-time work since then. The other statement is from another former Other Side employee, again, uh, the uh, person that's going by the name of uh, Kim Korn Karn, uh, who was detailing the situation behind closed doors, and he says that Warren kept promising us a playtest to give Boston feedback, but for whatever reason it never happened, uh, so most of us didn't play it until it launched, uh, we were horrified. Not only was it a financial loss for the company, uh, the damage to our reputation was irreversible even if Austin had nothing to do with it. When the news about Starbreeze came, it uh, cast a big shadow over our hopes uh, to find a new publisher. They said on the other side, Boston developed uh, Underworld Ascendant, which launched in a disastrous state. Another quote describing the studio's director Warren Spector saying, There were a lot of criticisms on Warren that I didn't think were very fair. He was the most visible face of the team, so I'd imagine it's natural to assign him the blame, but if anything, we needed more of his direct uh, involvement. The team had a lot of strong personalities and he was mostly hands-off. In person, he has a very gentle, kind, and humble demeanor. Uh, he had uh, good visions for the game and perhaps some ambitions that were uh, outside our reach, but I don't recall his involvement ever being corrosive. So. 
There you go, it looks like the lead director wasn't at fault. The article continues with uh, the employee then proceeding uh, to uh, outline a series of problems that made System Shock 3's development difficult. Uh, these included developing the title in Unity instead of Unreal Engine 4, an underset design team, and a Milestone Tunnel Vision, which they say saw the worker from Milestone demos being thrown away. Forwarding to last Friday, the same former employee revealed that uh, while the core systems of System Shock 3 were done, following by saying that, uh, quote, everyone on the content side is no longer in the studio, they added that uh, had Starbreeze not pulled their support from System Shock 3's publisher, the developer, quote, uh, would have delivered something interesting, and uh, yeah, this uh, basically the same thing I was said in the other article. Other side entertainment's Twitter account has been dead silent since December, and uh, de details about System Shock 3 has been scarce since the past months, uh, which isn't particularly encouraging. We'll have to wait and see if the developer issues updated soon. Uh, lastly, for clarification's sake, Other Side Entertainment is working on System Shock 3. The System Shock remaster is being handled by a studio called Night Dive Studios. So, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. It looks like the absolute failure that was Overkill's. The Walking Dead it caused the Sabri Studios to then sell the publishing rights back to a uh back to the other side and uh, sadly that resulted in a uh, massive demoralization with the lack of a publisher. It caused a lot of layoffs uh, due to the uh, possible money constraints uh, because of the buyback of the publishing rights and uh, a lot of people uh, from the core team to either just uh, to basically just up and quit because uh, like I said it is better to uh, quit, uh, quit a job yourself than to uh, you know find yourself waking up one morning and uh, sadly being out of a job. And now of course uh, this still isn't the full story so uh, there may be a news about the game in the future hopefully you know hopefully it does end up getting made and I do want to say you know best of luck to all of the uh, former employees that still haven't found any work I hope you do find it soon Seeing stuff like this really is disheartening you know these people have uh, poured so much uh, so much time and resources into making something like this and all of a sudden uh, these massive layoffs start happening but for the status of the game uh, sadly right now I really don't have my hopes up too high because uh, you know when the core development team leaves uh, usually uh, the entire project either fails uh, or just uh, gets shifted off to a new studio that really doesn't know what they're doing and it ends up being a massive flop. Honestly, in my opinion, it would have been so much better if Other Side actually seeked out a different publisher besides Starbreeze because uh, Overkill's The Walking Dead uh, definitely, uh, you know, took a huge toll on Starbees itself, and they really were never the same after that. So yeah, until further news comes out, uh, I guess this is all we have. Anyway, everyone, thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the bell icon, and if you wish to support me, if you want, make sure to link is in the description below. And as always, I'm Demon Crunch, and I'll be seeing you guys and else in the next video.